All right, today a little uh, chef trick, spring lettuce in a cucumber vase, uh, pronounced vase. What do you put your uh, salad in? A bowl? Really? How embarrassing. All right, let me show you this little trick. We're going to fancify this up a little bit. You need an English cucumber. You can tell the English ones there, those uh, hermetically sealed ones. And yes, I'm going to use my Japanese mandolin vegetable slicer again. you got to get one of those. Now, the first couple slices we're not going to be able to use. So that's going to be the perfect opportunity to get the perfect thickness. So I did the first one in there. That was a little too thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, uh, there's a little screw on there, just adjust it. And then I was pretty much, after a couple that you didn't see, I pretty much had the perfect width. So what you want here, you want it sturdy enough to stand up, but you want it thin enough where it sticks together. Uh, one other word of warning here is you go to the center, that's where the seeds are. And it looks really cool because you can, you know, see the seeds, but it is uh, not quite as sturdy as the, you know, the pieces that are more flush. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use two pieces because I like the look of the inside ones because of the seeds. So I'm going to use one to form my ring. Whoops. And they really do stick together if you get the right thickness because the, you know, they're wet and they adhere to each other. So we're going to put one like that. We're going to take another piece. We're going to wrap it around. And we're just going to stick it right together. All right. And then once it's together, it'll stay in place, and especially once you get the salad in there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your spring, your baby spring greens, because, of course, it is spring, at least at the time of filming. And uh, you're just going to make a nice arrangement. Now, again, you spend as much time as you want. I had to do the old food styling thing, so this thing took me about, you know, 45 minutes. But you go in and you throw in your greens, and that is very cool. Now you got two choices here. You can dress the greens, or you can leave them dry and just put the dressing around, which kind of looks nice on the plate. So up to you. Uh, of course, some croutons would be nice. Maybe some cherry tomatoes. Uh, cherry tomatoes weren't in season, but when you have Photoshop, they're always in season. So that's just, I think, a really interesting way to serve a little green salad. You can trick people into eating cucumber. And uh, another way I like to use it is a side garnish for a main course or an appetizer and of course I wouldn't tease you like that the demos coming up here this week we're gonna do a beautiful wild salmon uh, cake and I served that with a nice uh, tarragon aioli real aioli I'll show you how to make that so anyway go to foodwishes.com for more info and enjoy